Right then guys, hello, it is GT here, and in today's video, we're going to be making the most incredible character that you could possibly make in Skyrim. And in order to do this, we are going to be reviewing the Cheat Room mod. Now, if you hadn't already guessed, the Cheat Room mod essentially allows you to access a room that is full to the brim of cheat. I am going to be explaining how you can get this mod for yourself, but to start with, let's just launch into it and see what this mod does. Okay, so once you have the mod activated, essentially the first place you're going to want to go to is your magic tab. Then you need to go into alteration and then here, as you can see, you have lots and lots of cheat options to do with the mod. And the main one you're going to be interested in to begin with is the cheat teleport and you need to equip it. My character is now equipped the spell and all you need to do is use it. And as you can see, you have several options here and for this one, we are going to go straight to the cheat room. And here we are inside the cheat room, which to be honest with you, at first glance does not really look like anything particularly special. But believe me, there is some cool stuff in here. So we're starting right in the middle of the room. And as you can see here, we have got a map of Skyrim with several different locations pinpointed on it. And basically what this allows you to do is teleport directly to a destination, much like quick travel. So here we are in Whiterun and the easy way to get back if you would like to is simply cast the spell again. Now, just behind the map, we have got a really, really interesting little table here. And this is an item duplicator. So essentially what you do, you put an item that you wish to duplicate into the input box. And then it comes out of the output box. And basically, you're just left with an unlimited amount of whatever item that you desire. And to test it out, we are going to put some Daedric Armor into the input box. Immediately, all you need to do is look in the output box. And as you can see, we have 10 Daedric Armors. It literally times it by 10. Yeah, so you kind of get the drift of how this one works. But if you're looking at your 10 Daedric Armors and you're just thinking, you know what, that's just not quite enough for me, then you simply need to press this button over here and you can have a literally unlimited amount of duplicated items. Now, the next part of the room is focused mainly around potions. And this here on the wall is basically just like a free vending machine, but for potions. Let's say, for example, you're a bit low on health potions, so you just press the button and guess what? it falls out the bottom. So as you can see, you just keep pressing and pressing and pressing and you get as many potions as you like. Now, an unusual but a very useful part of the room, we actually have a character editor. And basically what this allows you to do is change your character in any way you want, just like you do right at the start of the game. And you can also rename your character too. Just next to it on the wall, we actually have a size editor. And with this, you can literally edit how big your character is in terms of their physical size. So for example, if you press the minus 0.10 button a few times, Essentially, this is what, <laughs> what you're left with. A little hobbit looking all sorry for himself. I mean, seriously, you can't even reach the button anymore. <laughs> and it's dead easy. All you'd have to do is just press the change size 0.10 button a few times to get yourself back to normal size. Over here, we have got useful things such as a trash bin where you can get rid of loads of stuff at once and loads and loads of storage containers, as well as some useful buttons here. I'm not going to go through all of them individually, but you can do things like get rid of bugs or you can get rid of your follower from your service without having to kind of mess around. One to note, however, is being able to get all of the stones of Baron Zaya just straight away there and then. And there are plenty more of these over here. And as you can see, there are some ridiculous bonuses on some of these things I'm hovering over. Now, this little corner of the room is where it really starts to get interesting. In. So long story short, in all of these chests is basically every single item you could possibly think of in the entire game, plus even more that aren't in the game. For example, if we look at the standard weapons chest and you go down, you can see simply all of the amazing weapons in the standard vanilla version of Skyrim. But it doesn't stop there. If you can think of it, then it's definitely here. We've got skill books, we've got ammo, we've got staffs, we've got clothes, we've got potions, keys, other... But over to the right here, we have got a few chests that really kind of push the boundaries a little bit. In the other chest here, we have got Cheat Braden's armor. Now, this is actually an armor that doesn't really exist. This is basically a massively overpowered Daedric set of armor, which has had a really cool kind of bluish tint put on it. And yeah, it just looks cool. And we do have other items like that in the Cheat Armor and Weapons tab, where as you can see, you can just straight away get yourself a Daedric bow, which is much faster than it would be. It's ridiculously powerful and basically just makes makes you incredible in every way. Also, if you have managed to buy yourself a house in the all crafting supplies chest, you have got everything that you could possibly need in order to build your house up to the best it can possibly be. Definitely feel like we should put this on. 
I mean, this is not something that I personally would ever really use in an actual playthrough, but I mean, just look at that. It's a bright blue armor. But you know when you get a bit bored and you've run out of quests to do and you don't really know what to do on Skyrim? Well, I mean, this mod is literally perfect for that situation. And to be fair, if you were getting really stuck at a quest or something like that, it could be really useful. Okay, so this section of the wall also is pretty useful. On the left-hand side, you've got your health, magicka, stamina, and your carry weight that you can increase and also decrease. In the middle section here, however, there are all of your skills with a sneaky little plus sign next to it. So I'm going to use restoration for this part 37. And yeah, you guessed it. Basically, if you just continually press this button here, go plus, 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 keep pressing it, keep pressing it, your skills will indeed increase. As you can see, restoration in the space of, what was that, maybe 10 seconds, we have increased to level 51 restoration. So you can imagine how easily you can get all of your other skills up to 100. But if you do get bored of that, you can just reset all your skills to zero. And I do have to give an honorable mention to some of the more normal items within this room, like your grindstone and your anvil. Pretty much anything that you would need to access in order to craft or make anything, you can also find in this room. Now moving over to the other side of the room and we've got some really, really useful stuff. So as you can see here, we've got every single standing stone in the entire game all in one place. There's also a handy button in case you want to remove the stone that you are currently using too. Also over to the left, there's every single shrine in the game. So if you've got a disease or something like that, or basically you just need a shrine for any reason, it's here ready for you. Right then, on to building the most powerful, insane, ridiculous, overpowered character ever. I'm now going to start leveling up my character and giving him the best gear physically possible. So these are the stats of my character COVID just before we get started with that. Right then, off we go. Right, so as you can see, I went a little bit overboard. We got to level 107, but in virtually no time at all. And as you can see, if we wanted to, we could also make the skills legendary straight away and just do it all again. Two hours later. So I wasn't going to put this in the video, but I've literally just spent about five or ten minutes just absolutely button bashing all of these. And it turns out there's a button here. Activate all skills. So don't make that mistake. <laughs> but as you can see, guys, all of our skills are now over level 100. Uh, the reason that they're not all exactly 100 is simply because I just got a little bit trigger happy and accidentally went over. But yeah, you get the message and you can easily level up really, really quickly, even if you do it individually like I did. So to round this video off, guys, as you can see, I've got a nice 90 Daedric armors all in my inventory there. I've got some crazy blue armor on and there is a ridiculous amount of Daedric armor just all around the floor, which I'm going to kick around. So now every single skill is over level 100. I've got myself a piece of Daedric armor and I'm pretty much ready to go. If you're not sure how to use mods, I have linked a video in the description which shows you exactly how to install them. So if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, don't forget to drop a like on the video and of course subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks very much for watching guys and hopefully you have a lot of fun with this mod.